Hey there, Coastal Ben. Chris Thomason joined once again by Islanders men's basketball coach Jim Shaw. First off, coach, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it, Chris. Good to see you again. Yes, sir. Good to see you, too. All right. So Islanders coming off a big week, starting out Southland Conference play at 2-0, a road win at UIW, and then coming back home and hammering Houston Christian 81-59. to Now, I'm going to hit you with some stats here. 24 points off turnovers, 25 fast break points, 56 points in the paint, all of them against the Huskies. So, of course, a lot of these things go hand in hand. But how much is the defense feeding the offense right now? I th yeah, I think I think there, we've gotten some easy baskets off of turnovers, um, whether it be against Houston Christian on Monday night or even when you go back to San Antonio on Saturday evening versus UIW. But I'd like to throw out another number. We, we had 21 assists versus uh, Houston Christian on Monday night. Which is, uh, which is, you know, the guys are buying in, they're playing together, um, playing the playing the game the right way, and uh, really proud of maybe that number more than any of those numbers that you threw out. One thing that probably needs to improve a little bit: the three-point shooting, just twenty-two percent uh, the other day, despite the eighty-one points against Houston Christian. So, how how can you guys improve in that regard? I think we've got a, some shooters. I think we've got some shooters on the team. Um, you can go back to even last year, Owen Deese. Um, gosh, he made four threes in the uh, championship game versus Northwestern State um, at the Legacy Center in Lake Charles to put us into the NCAA tournament. He can shoot. Teddy Washington's another good shooter. We've got a number of really good shooters, and all you can do is just keep getting in the gym and working at it, and those guys are getting up two, 300 extra shots a day, and eventually they'll fall, and I keep on telling them, if you're open, you're in, 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 uh, take take your shot. You know, if you're open, doesn't matter how quick in the shot clock it is, as long as you're open and, and, and you catch the ball cleanly. Um, but once we once we start making outside shots, I think we'll even be a, a tougher team to beat in Southern Conference play. Yeah, it's scary to think about. Like I said, considering you guys are already putting up uh, good offensive numbers. But uh, Gary Clark, he's you know led the team in scoring uh, last couple games, had 18 against Houston Christian. How much is he emerging as a go-to guy? Yeah, he's emerging as a guy that uh, hopefully can get a double double every game. <laughs> you know, he had a double double on on Monday and I believe Saturday as well. Uh, so, he, but as far as being a, a, I just an everyday guy is probably more important to me than than a go to guy. He he comes to practice every day, and that just shows in his play on the court. Once the uh, the lights go on, the popcorns pop in in the game. So, um, definitely proud of proud of his performance so far in Southern Conference play. Is it nice having a guy like that that you know you can count on for that production? For sure, and especially to rebound the ball. Um, I do believe in rebounding, and there's a number of guys that can rebound on the team, but he's 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 definitely one that's that's coming to the forefront of rebounding the ball, defending. Um, and as long as you, you know, as long as you uh, get in there and, and and get offensive rebounds, that's that's a way to get unscripted baskets. Um, well, uh, the other way, like you mentioned, is getting on points off of turnovers. So any anytime uh, you can get unscripted baskets and easy baskets around the rim, that helps your offensive numbers. Now, you guys have had one road game already at UIW, but, you know, let's face it, Cardinals picked uh, near the bottom of the Southlands. So uh, you guys handled your business over there. But now it, it, you could argue first real big conference road test this upcoming week on the road Saturday at New Orleans and then Monday at southeastern Louisiana you feel like the guys are in a spot where they're ready for a road trip like this yeah yeah Chris I think they're I think the guys are ready um obviously as you mentioned southeastern and then New Orleans those two teams if you look at players coming back in the Southland from from last year, they, those are the two institutions that have the the most experience coming back in Southland Conference play. So they're going to be a re really, really tough test for us. But I think our guys, the team has played well in road games. Um, they've had a level of focus, a little level of togetherness, whether you go back to um, in non-conference playing at, at the, in Edinburgh versus UTRGV or even those Big 12 games where we were on the road uh, towards the end at UT or, or Texas Tech. They've 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 done a good job of 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 locking in and focusing away from uh, the island. All right, so I'm going to ask you my fun question: NFL playoffs start this weekend. Who do you have 
in the Super Bowl, and then who do you have winning it all? Oh, um, I grew I grew up as a, uh, a Houston Oilers fan. You know, Warren Moon, the running shoot. Okay, well, Jack the Titans Cardinal. Titans aren't in the playoffs. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah fired but their coach. But with that said, I, once they left, they left. And okay. now that uh, and now that uh, you know the Houston Texans are, are the uh, the team of, of South Texas, I, I'm definitely a fan of them. But I'll go I'll go Texans, Ooh. Cowboys in the Super Bowl, Ooh. and the Texans win it. Pandering to the audience, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I feel like I don't know if you were betting money. I don't know if you would bet that Super Bowl or not. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm not a betting man either, I will say that, but I'm going to go, uh, Cowboys fans, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go 49ers because I just, you know, I think Dallas can get to the NFC Championship. I just wouldn't bet money on them winning on the road in San Francisco, even though the, the Niners are beatable. Uh, but then I'm going to go with the Bills in the AFC. I think they've proven that they can win on the road. I think they can go into Baltimore, get it done. So I'm going to go 49ers over Bills in the Super Bowl. I think that would be a pretty entertaining one. Yeah, that that's a good pick. And I'll, if if the Texans can't make it out of the AFC, we'll we'll, we'll definitely go with the the Ravens because uh, Marion Humphreys' older brother Marlon Humphreys is a Pro Bowler for the uh, for the Ravens. So that's that's oh. my second choice is the is the, uh, is, is the Ravens. Okay, I did not know that. That seems like a, a good story coming up next week. So, uh, Coach, I appreciate it. Thanks for the time, and uh, good luck uh, on the road this upcoming week. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you. All right, we'll see you next time, Coastal Bend, on Hang Time.